Well, hello again, everybody. Today we're checking out an interesting little cave. This is going to be a visit to the cave where Johnny Cash had his come to Jesus meeting. It's called the Naked Jack Cave. It's over that way a little bit. Now we won't be able to get in the cave because it's flooded. There's been some interesting history around the area. Indians used to live in this area before the area was flooded and there was a great battle that happened all in here. And then Cash had his little incident. If you wanna know more information, just check it out on the internet. It's a pretty tragic and pretty interesting story. Those of you that follow me will uh, remember the church across the way from Nickajack Dam. And this is that beautiful little public park that is right around the corner. So let's go take a look at the cave, shall we? We've got a little bit of a hike ahead of us. It's right there in the cave. It's right where that little dip is. Now they have got this whole area, there's a big trail that goes through here, and this whole area gets checked down. Now, one of the more interesting things that they have in this area is that since there are bats in this cave, you could walk down here at sunset or a little bit before and watch the bats. That is definitely an interesting thing to watch if you've never seen bats coming out of a cave. But we're going to go this way. Well, this is something interesting. There are two metal posts right off the trail, right before the viewing platform. Not entirely sure what that's supposed to be. Hmm. Something tells me oh, somebody's playing with the rocks again. Don't do this. This really messes up creek ecosystems, especially in creeks that have like rare fish and whatnot. But it appears that at certain times of the year, there's a lot of water that comes flying down through here. So they have curly cued the path so that the water can come flying out this way. And here we are at the Nickajack Cave. Now, as you can see, since the cave got flooded, they really don't like people going in the cave anymore. And to be perfectly honest, with the geography and the geology of the area, I'm betting a lot of this cave falls in on itself because it was never designed to flood. But this is the cave where Indians camped out. And this is the cave where Johnny Cash found Jesus just outside of Chattanooga. He's definitely left his imprint in the area. Can't really see that. I hope you can. It's kind of too small and too far away from being on the boardwalk. And this is the place where you would wait at sunset See all the bats coming out. Now, people have climbed up that away because the view is quite spectacular. But I would recommend against it. Just because of all the rock being loose the way it is in this area, it is definitely a dangerous area.
know, they've started building houses and all these mountains around here. I'm wondering how long it would take for them to start building on that point. Hope nobody does. It's just too pretty of an area. It's already got 24 going through it. So it's not exactly peaceful all the time. Well, all of the rocks over the millennia getting carved by water definitely give some interesting shapes. Independently of the cave, they actually have a little beach here that is blocked off for swimming. And there's a boat ramp. It's kind of interesting because there's a boat ramp here, and then there is a boat ramp on the other side. I guess it doesn't hurt to pour a boat ramp. Well guys, that is the Nickajack Cave and park that's here. Hope you enjoyed it. I am off to go on some more journeys. So until then, why don't you go on some journeys of your own? See you next time.